National Football League owners are meeting this week, and it figures to be a run-of-the-mill session as the 31 owners and the Green Bay Packers Board of Directors continue to figure out how to make money. The league has straightened out its Oakland 2019 problem. There are a couple years left on the collective bargaining agreement, and everyone will congratulate New England's Robert Kraft for winning the Super Bowl. There might be a question here or there that Kraft probably won't answer about being picked up by police in Jupiter, Florida for soliciting a prostitute or whether Kraft wants to see the accusatory police video released. Until the case is finished, the NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell cannot discipline the 77-year-old Kraft. But Kraft's alleged crime puts yet another dent in the NFL shield. The Patriot Way is also taking a hit. The Patriot Way, though, is allegedly the gold standard of doing business in the NFL. Tom Brady and his head coach Bill Belichick have won six Super Bowl trophies, but Kraft has led an organization that pretty much has gotten a free pass because winning is a great deodorant. In 1996, Kraft's coach, Bill Parcells, took Christian Peter in the draft despite Peter's history of physically abusing women in college. Kraft's wife, Myra, would not allow Parcells to sign Peter. In 1998, Kraft played Connecticut against Massachusetts in the stadium game and pulled out of a deal to build a stadium in Hartford two days before he would have had to pay a penalty to kill the agreement. Kraft cited environmental concerns. He got a better deal in Massachusetts. Kraft hired Belichick soon after Belichick accepted and quit the New York Jets head coaching job. A number of Kraft's employees, including Aaron Hernandez, have been in trouble with the law. There was the Belichick taping of opposing teams during walkthroughs. Brady and deflated footballs. That's the Patriot way. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.